Hey, it's Steve here, and today we're going to talk about uh, a way that we can distribute uh, reports such as uh, invoices, accountability reports, or other documents into the system's eyes integrated file system, or IFS for short. So we are going to go ahead and open this Explorer template, or this IDF, and what we want to do with this is we want to create an Excel file that we can send back to uh, the IFS. So we're going to go ahead and select the spool file and in this case I'm going to go to my LQ and select this invoice here. We're going to go to this template designer tab and as you can see here it's already given a certain format. We're grabbing, we're grabbing certain things here but we're not going to focus too much on uh, the way that this was designed. Again we want to focus more on the way that we are going to distribute this Excel file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this import level and add a run mode. And the reason why is because we want to uh, create an Excel file for this whole spool file instead of uh, creating an Excel file at each page and if we were to create a run mode at the page level that's what would happen. But again that's for another training. So we're going to go into this Microsoft Excel uh, action and as you can see here are the settings for Excel uh, that are that are being given when, if, when we want to export it. So we don't worry about this too much right now. We're just going to hit OK. And again what we wanted to do is send this Excel file into our IFS system. So what we're going to do is instead of hitting this automatic folder selection option we are going to use this manual selection. So here you would select uh, your i-series or your OS 400, you know, whatever it may be. You would input it here and then your IFS system. Uh, but for this case, what we have done is we've mapped, we've mapped a drive to our IFS system or our, I or our OS 400. So as you can see here, we have uh, the IP and then the IFS system and my user. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK, and as you can tell here, we got our Z drive, which is mapped to our IC or our OS 400. And here we're going to change the name of what this file is going to be, because right now it's set as automatic, and we don't want it to be automatic because that's just going to be a sequence of letters and numbers. And I know that may be uh, good at certain occasions. Uh, in this case, we want to know what kind of file is being. Uh, save to. So what we're going to do is we are going to call this, we'll say uh, invoice number, and then here at this little tab that we've clicked, it's going to insert a variable. And we're going to grab uh, the second option, which is Complete Explorer Variables, and we're going to choose invoice number, and this is a variable that's being grabbed um, right here in this, using the spool file. And we're also going to add um, the date as well. Or And here this date variable is being grabbed from the spool file again. Or this this piece here. Instead of it being uh, like the current date. So we're going to hit OK. And then go to the next selection which is this extension selection here. And uh, if we were to leave it as automatic it would save it as a text file. But what we're going to do is we're going to save it as an Excel file. Uh, and that's that um, XLS extension. And we don't have to put that dot uh, before it because it does it automatically. And here uh, at the override section, we're going to, you know, we have different options. Um, but what we're going to select here is delete so it won't prompt us whether or not we want to replace uh, the file if it has that same name. And then we won't worry about the rest of the options. So here we're going to save this as, um, we will save this as uh, the one that has the same name. But we will add on to it. We will say uh, send to IFS. And we'll hit save. Uh, so here it's asking us if you want to change the name of the import level as well to match what we just saved it as and we'll just say yes. And here we get prompted to save it to our favorites. We'll just go ahead and click no. Uh, so let's run it. Let's see what happens. 
Uh, and so this is uh, an error caused by our, our system that we're having little issues with uh, our office. So as you can see, you know, we grab what we wanted. We grab, uh, we grab, um, you know, the name, the company name, uh, etc. And so we're grabbing, you know, the information that we want. Uh, but uh, as you can see, you know, it opened it up because uh, the way that we have our Microsoft Excel uh, settings. So as you can see here, if you wanted to uh, add a little more like pizzazz to that uh, file that we're creating, we can uh, we can uh, use a template, and that template we could use is right here. It's called books or template, and that contains uh, certain information, or it's just a template that we've created to you know to give it a little more format. So we'll say okay. And where we're going to insert it, it's going to be at A10. And this is um, the way that the that template that we're using, we want to start populating it at, at A10. Because if we start populating it at, at A1, it's not it's going to overwrite the template that we have. And so here, uh, at this Close Excel Options, we're going to double-click that. So as you can see, it's not going to close Excel. So that's what prompts it to open and not close. So what we want to do is we want to close Excel after it has saved, and you know, after it has run its process, uh, it'll save, then it'll close it. Um, we don't want to give it another name here. What we want to do is we want to choose that same path and name that we specified in these run mode settings. So we're going to click that checkbox and hit OK. And we're going to hit OK. We'll save it. And now we'll run this template again. And so as you can see, it didn't give us like any issues or any errors. Uh, so this shouldn't be, you know, popping up because uh, we're, again we're having like some issues with uh, our Microsoft Office product. But uh, again, the main focus here was this Excel file opening up in our in our. Um, in our IFS. So as you can see I went to my Z drive that contains that um, that path and this was the one that we just created. Uh, so the time might be a little off but don't worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll just hit yes and here because again we're having like some issues with Office it gives us just the plain look and yeah, that's we're having some issues with Office. Uh, just to make sure that this was working correctly, um, as you can see here, the path that this is being saved to is a network shared folder. So we're going to go ahead and go to that uh, folder. So this is um, this is the folder that it's being saved to. So we're going to go ahead and open it in our local um, in our local computer. And this is the file that we saved. And again, that's a uh, reason why it's good to have that naming convention, just so that we know which is uh, the file that we need to choose. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, this is just prompts us and tells us that this has been uh, created with the more recent version. This is a little um, outdated. But we're going to go ahead and, again, select go to our LQ, select the spool file that we're working with. Uh, go to our template designer. Nothing has been modified. Everything has stayed the same. And so we're just going to go ahead and run this template. And so as you can see here, um, that Excel file didn't open up. It closed after it finished saving. So now we're going to just see that whether or not you know it worked. So we're going to go to our Z drive that contains that file and go to that Excel file that we've created, which is this one. And so as you can see now, it has um, it has um, used the template correctly that we wanted to. Um, this might be a little off just because uh, this template was made for something else, but uh, as uh, to the main point is, uh, you know, you give it a little more dynamic look uh, to whatever file you want to incorporate in your IFS system or in your IFS and that'll be all for today
Hope you guys had some fun. Till next time.